says, Comfort. Comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry. And I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows on it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Go on up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good news. Lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good news, lift it up. Fear not, says the city of Judah. Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will tend his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with a span and closed the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance. Who has measured the spirit of the Lord Or what man shows him his counsel? Whom did he consult? And who made him understand? Who taught him the path of justice and taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are accounted as the dust on the scales. Behold, he takes up the coastlands like fine dust. Lebanon would not suffice for fuel nor are its beasts enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. To whom then will you liken God? And what likeness compared with him? An idol? A craftsman casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold and casts for its silver chains. He who is too impoverished for an offering chooses wood that will not rot. He seeks out a skillful craftsman to set up an idol that will not move. Do you not know? Do you not hear? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to dwell in who brings princes to nothing and makes the rulers of the earth as emptiness. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth when he blows on them and they wither and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will you compare me that I should be like him, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, no one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. 
He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, that they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40. That's what we're looking at today. I'm kind of like in that mode right now. Kind of feeling spent. Exhausted. Weary. Honestly, I'm not sure why. It's just some feeling that just came over me at the latter part of the day. Almost to question of me even recording this today. And that happens. And I know we all have our ups and downs. And I just seem to be in that. That What am I doing? Where am I? What should I be doing? Needing that strength renewed to continue on. To deal with the harshness of life some days are harsher than others today just seems to be one of those that I'm wrestling with myself dealing with different things and again that's where it comes to the conversation that I've been sharing of having people around you to talk to that can inspire you to motivate you, to encourage you. But there's those times that you really can't rely on anybody. You have to be able to do that yourself. You have to motivate yourself. You have to inspire yourself, and you have to encourage yourself. Now, with the reading and going to Scripture, God's there to inspire, motivate, and encourage you. But where is your mind? You know, he will give strength to the powerless. He will give you the strength to continue the run and not grow tired. To walk while you're having the weight just pressing down on you. So you do not fall, you don't faint. Kind of a little different way I'm kind of I'm going today, and really probably going back to the way I I did these podcasts a while ago. You know, again, we all have our belief, and we all have that peace that we believe in, that spirit we believe in. You know, for me, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. And I've not by any means not shared that. And many of you that have been following this podcast for years, 12 years I think I've been doing it now, you know that. But again, the Bible also tells us, you know, we all have our own mind to to make that decision. We have that free will to choose. And those of us choose. And whatever we choose, right or wrong, you agree with me or not, it's okay. Because we need to be here for one another. We need to lift up each other. To help get through the turmoil of our days. The turmoil of life. Some people having harder days than others. We have to really work to do our best. Isaiah 40 is what we're looking at today. And how does it speak to you? What does it say to you? Where are you? Are you feeling weary? Are you feeling weak? Are you feeling faint? Are you feeling exhausted? Do you need to be lifted up? You know, like Aaron helped Moses when he was tired, when he was holding up his arms to with the Red Sea to 
save the Israelites. This is where we have the times that we need to really look at those pieces to regain our composure, to rest, to revitalize ourselves. We could keep pushing forward and going and going and going, but there's times that we need a break. There's times that you're going through, there's so much happening that you just get overwhelmed with life. When there you have so much happening at work, when you have so much happening at home. Maybe that's one of those days for me today, I'm not sure. I really did question to do this, but I, I, I needed to. And I hope wherever you are, you find that inspiration to keep pressing forward, to keep moving on, to keep learning, to keep building what you're trying to build, to really pull those around you that you need to hold on to. Maybe you have a friend that, or even a coworker that's struggling and you just need to let them know that it's going to be okay. Again, we have our good days and we have our bad days. And I know a lot of people that are having some bad days right now professionally because of what's happening in the world. People that are concerned about their job, people that are trying to find a job because they've already been laid off. Some that are still on furlough and they're not sure when they're going to come back. Some that have just been extended to the end of the year. We have been crippled with the virus to what is going on. And it's almost been feeling like fighting ourselves out of a paper, a plastic bag the past few months you know it's like there and it's suffocating you and you're not sure a lot of good things have come out of it where families have grown stronger they've come together they forgot what it was like to really be with their family and now they're changing their priorities to make sure they keep continuing that time with family and friends which is great Sometimes we all need to slow down and breathe, relax. We've heard the saying, you need to at times stop and smell the roses. And many people over the last few months, that's what they've been forced to do. Now things are kind of opening up and, and, and life starting to kind of get back to where it was. But then you got to remember where you are and then be able to hold yourself up when you're dealing with what's happening. Again, not easy. Not an easy task. I just hope you are wherever it is that you are, that you're holding strong to make through and you've got the people that you can lean on the support around you that can really help you. Even Jesus had his disciples. As we are moving on to help each other to be better, to succeed, to get to that next step. We have to remember to take care of ourselves, not lose ourselves, to take time out for ourselves to recharge. Body, mind, and spirit, we have to keep that all healthy so we keep moving forward to be the best as we are trying to help others be the better person for them as well. Isaiah 40, what does it say to you today? Read that. See how it speaks to you. Remember, 
that we need to be better today than we were yesterday. Better tomorrow than what we are today. Keep striving to be the best. Again, we're going to have our ups and downs. We're going to fail. We're going to trip. We're going to stumble. You fall seven times, you get up eight. You fall ten times, you get up eleven. You just keep getting up. And not hold grudges. Not let that negativity get in your mind and hold there. Stay positive. Keep the positive thoughts going to really keep that life moving forward. Isaiah 40. Read that today. Thank you for listening to The Gospel Road. Have a great day. God bless.